Hello, my name is Eric Talbot, Bethel's new deacon for congregational care. And today I have the opportunity to talk about Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. As we enter into these verses, Jesus has been traveling the Galilean countryside, preaching his good news and healing people from all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. And as you can imagine, his fan club has been growing. And now Jesus is seated on a hillside teaching his disciples, which includes us today. He just told them about the Beatitudes, or we might say the character traits of the citizens of his eternal kingdom, character traits that are so opposite to the world's way of thinking. And now in verses 13 through 16, Jesus is telling us what those character traits look like in our daily lives. Those traits are to be like salt and light, and they should be as obvious as a city on a hill. Jesus starts off calling his disciples salt, saying, you are the salt of the earth. He's not talking about a goal that we are to pursue. He's saying that we already are salt. And as salt, we are valuable. We have a, a gospel story to share that has a life-preserving effect for others. As disciples of Jesus Christ, we are called to enhance the lives of others. Then in verse 14, Jesus tells his disciples, you are the light of the world. That statement may remind you of John's gospel where Jesus makes that same statement of himself, saying, I am the light of the world. What an honor it is for Jesus to say, we too are light of the world. As part of his church, we are to continue his mission on earth of shining his light. That means we are to be living in it and sharing with others. Then Jesus makes an obvious statement here. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. In Jesus' day, Jerusalem was such a city as that. It was the holy city where God dwelled among his people. That's the role of Jesus' church today. As disciples, we are called to live in a way that is so obviously different from the world that people will notice. And it is obviously good because the Holy Spirit is within us and we are the dwelling place of God. Over the years, I've heard Christians say that their faith is personal and they just don't feel called to share it with others. That's not living like salt and light. Sure, faith is personal, but it should compel us to enhance the lives of those around us. And as, the, as disciples of Jesus, people should see his light shining through us. So how are you going to be salt and light today? Heavenly Father, guide us as we live as salt and life today so that you may be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.